One of the easiest things you can do to make more money online is automate some things in your business. In fact, we recently had a client go from averaging around $20,000 a month to now averaging over $300,000 a month in less than a year by simply automating their business. Now, those are some big numbers. We've also helped people that have hardly anything online. They're just starting out. And by simply setting up simple automation, they're able to start making sales on autopilot even while they sleep because they have the systems in place. They always say, don't build a house on a weak foundation. Well, don't build a business on no foundation. You need to set up something simple, at least something that can automatically follow up with your visitors and turn them into customers. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith. Today, I'm going to walk you through simple automation essentials that you can plug and play into your business. And I'm going to share my screen and walk you through each one of these steps so you can see everything that you should be thinking about and everything that you should set up to get started. Now, a lot of times these tools are low cost or even free to set up and something that you can do over a weekend or reach out to me and we can help set this up and automate it for you. And that's what we do. Everything from your CRM to your email marketing and automation to your social media and your YouTube videos. The goal is to make it easy for your visitors to become customers. Now, this is where we want to start off is a CRM, Customer Relationship Manager. Now, with anything in marketing, you have the first instinct to sell yourself or to sell your business. But in all reality, businesses only grow if you build relationships with your prospects. And that is really hard to do because you can't get on the phone with every single person that visits your website. But what you can do is set up automation to send them automated emails, get them to follow you on social media, send things like scheduler invites and videos to build better relationships. And that's what I want to teach you today. When we set up a CRM and we do the email marketing, how can we do this to build better relationships with our visitors on autopilot? So while you're busy running your business, doing what you're best at, you need these systems to be working for you. Now, a CRM is something that will take anyone that comes to your website, visitors, leads, customers, and put them all into a system. There's a lot of popular options out there like HubSpot, Active Campaign, Nutshell, which is my favorite, and you'll see some of the reviews here in the screenshots, and you know multiple different ways you can set up a CRM. A lot of them are free to set up. You can get a free trial, but this is your database. This is where you put all your contacts. They even have systems with the Nutshell that we use that will take leads that visit your website. They don't even have to fill out a form, and they'll go into your CRM. So think of your CRM as a dump of all your contacts, any website visitors, anyone that hears about you, we want to put them in here so you can easily follow up. We next need to think of email marketing. And this is where a lot of softwares fall short. A lot of people have CRM, maybe they're using HubSpot, but they can't afford to send email marketing to their full contact list. They have over 100 contacts. So if you have over 100 contacts, you want, you're going to be using something like MailChimp, MailerLite, Active campaign. So you have to have two softwares. And it's really hard to have a CRM and an email marketing software and integrate them and make sure everything stays in one place. So you need to find a CRM that also offers email marketing at an affordable rate. We need this to be affordable because if you're a small business and you're growing, you need to be watching out for things like that. So we use this software called Nutshell that has the CRM and the email marketing for less than $100 a month. And now you can start sending out emails like newsletters and ways to stay in touch. And when you're setting up automation in your email, in your business, you wanna be able to send emails to your list and you wanna segment those lists. So you don't wanna send them to everyone. Sometimes you wanna send them to only visitors or only customers. So you need to be watching out for list segments and being able to send out newsletters in this software. This is my favorite email automation, and this is what I really coach and help people with, is sending automated emails to build a better relationship. And it's the same thing. You need to find a software that will automatically send out personal emails for you. I have a template of six automated emails you can find in the first comment or description below this video that you can copy and paste into your email automation. 
What that does is it says, hey, you're new to my website. Let's fill out a form, get on the landing page. I'll give you an offer, a lead magnet, or even just signing up for a newsletter. And then you want to send six strategic emails to build that relationship. Email one is telling them to follow you on social media. Email two is giving them a review. Email three is asking a question. Email four is asking to schedule a call. So there's multiple different ways you can set up these automated emails. But really the key is you have to think your customer is not going to pay you the first day. A new visitor doesn't know you yet. They don't trust you yet. So we use automated emails to tell them more about you, to get to remind them, to build value, to give value, to build relationships, and to get them to take action. You want to follow up multiple times with somebody if you want them to buy. Next is a scheduling software. Now, this is really tough. This is why we choose Nutshell here for our CRM. You can get a free trial in the description below. But then you have to use something like Calendly or HubSpot. There's so many different scheduling softwares out there. But it's really nice when everything's built in. And if you're just starting out or if you're not experienced in this tech stuff or you just don't have the time, you know, it's really hard to go connect. If someone schedules with you, are they automatically going to be in your CRM so you can follow up? Will they get automated emails? So you want to have that scheduler system either integrated with your CRM or all in one place, which Nutshell has the scheduling software. So what it allows people to do is schedule a call with me. If they want a demo, they can schedule a call if they have questions. And it's just a simple link that I put in my email signature. You can also embed it in your website so people can easily schedule with you. Super important to have this all in one place so you don't have to go back and forth. The next thing is email tracking. I love this one, especially if you're a service-based business or you're getting leads that you need to follow up with. What it does is it tracks if somebody opens your email. So if I send you an email and you go open it, I know you open it. And if you don't respond, I know that you're ignoring me, right? It's just good data to have. If I send it and you don't open it, I know there's a problem. So I can resend it. I can send you a text message. I can say, hey, making sure you got this. So insights like this are very valuable to know if people are opening your emails, if they're responding to them, and making it easy for you to respond and remind them as well. Contact forms are important because if we're going to set up lead magnets or ways for people to get in touch with us, you can set up a contact form in your CRM, embed it into your website, or you can integrate it with software like Zapier. And now when somebody signs up through this form, that lead information automatically goes into your CRM so you can follow up either through your automated emails, your newsletters, or a one-to-one -one email with them. Now, you wanna be able to customize this form. Maybe you don't want just name and email. I always like adding at least three multiple choice questions. So the more data you can get from somebody and show them that you are asking the right questions. So if somebody comes to your site and you're asking them a random question, it's not relevant. But if you're asking them questions based on the service you offer, it makes them aware and makes them want to answer that. And you want to do it through multiple choice. You don't want people to think about it. If you make them think about what to fill out in the form, most likely they won't fill it out. So you want to have a drop down or a multiple choice. Just let them check off a few options. It'll also help you learn more about them. So your follow up can be more on point. Next is custom fields. Now, a lot of times people just have a few questions you want to ask your contacts, but if you want to set up some sort of quiz, you want to get the birthday, you want to ask questions like, you know, where are you located? You want to be able to set up custom fields like a multiple choice. You know, where are you at in your business? Give them three options and they can fill that out. So you want to find a CRM that an automation to set up custom fields to set up those multiple choices and ask other questions about them to make that follow-up in those automated emails even more valuable. One of the last things that we wanna cover is the deal pipeline. Now, if you have an e-commerce business, you'll wanna think of this as an abandoned cart. You wanna follow up automatically with abandoned carts, of course. But if you're a service-based business and you have deals coming in, you need to be able to track them. What's the deal worth to you? What's the company name? When do you think they're gonna close? Have you already scheduled a call? Have you already sent a proposal? Have they agreed? Have they disagreed? Have they won Have you won the deal? Have you lost the deal? So in your CRM and when you're automating your business, you want to have a deal pipeline so you could take somebody from a brand new visitor to a lead, to a qualified lead, to a proposal sent, 
to a purchase. And that's really key. You need to be tracking these systems so you never miss out or lose a lead. You also wanna make sure that your automation connects with everything. Our favorite tool is Zapier. So you, your website probably connects with Zapier. Your CRM and email marketing should connect with them as well. We need everything connected. Now we wanna to try to get everything in one software, which is why I recommend Nutshell here because everything's in one. All you have to do is go place an embed code in your website and now it's all synced. But if you are using other tools like HubSpot, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, you're gonna to need to connect it with a Zapier account. So now all your data flows back and forth. Now I have some other videos about that on my YouTube channel, but most likely you're gonna to wanna to find one that's all in one place. Landing pages are super key because that's how you get that email to fill out the form. I always say, give somebody your best offer in exchange for their email, whether it's a demo, whether it's a book, a trial, um, a guide, a something valuable, a training, a tutorial. Hey, I'm going to give you this for free in exchange for your email. That way you can send those automated emails, build a relationship with them, and then sell them on your better offer later on because now they've trusted you, they've gotten something uh, free from you, and they've learned from you. That's really going to be key there. Last but not least, analytics. We need to go back and say, we got at least a 30% email open rate. We closed five deals. We had 100 website visitors, but only three became leads. You need to be able to easily track these analytics in your CRM when you're automating so you can go find where the gaps are and go improve on those. So where are you at in your business? Are you automating yet? Do you have any of these things automated? It's best to choose one platform like Nutshell. You can find my affiliate link down below in the description if you want to sign up for that free trial, I also have a coupon code for you. So make sure you go to automationlinks.com, contact form, and let me know if you sign up and I'll send you a coupon code. That way you get every month, it gives you a 25% coupon code. If you need our help automating your business, you can reach out on that same contact form or leave me a comment down below this video. Be more than happy to help you automate your business. So thanks again for watching this video. It'd be awesome if you subscribed, gave me a thumbs up and left me a comment and I will see you on the next video.